Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs in VirtualBox or VMware. This is basically a addition, kind of a addition of Windows XP for lower spec computers, and kind of uh, went towards business users as well. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I need VirtualBox or VMware and WinRAR as well as the ISO with the product key and password. Password bottom right of the video or in the description if you want to just use it for my future videos as well. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a new virtual machine. going to call it that. I know that's a long name, but I'm just going to call it that. Set your addition to Windows XP 32-bit. Hit next. I'm going to bump up my RAM a little bit. Hit next, but you can leave it right where it is. Create a virtual hard drive. Make this as big as you want. And go ahead and hit settings. Storage. Empty disk. Find the ISO. It's right here. Okay, and click start. I'll start up the virtual machine. Now it'll say Windows XP for the boot screen, but in reality it's called Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. I'll even show you. As you can see, it splashed up right there. So um, here it is press any key to enter the setup. Go ahead and hit next to on the welcome screen. Accept the license agreement, hit next. I did I want to set up Windows on my computer and also interactive mode. Hit next. And here's the product key, so I'm gonna enter that in quick and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, so once you get that entered in you'll get to the uh, language time zone and standards format screen. Just hit next or change it to whatever you need. Um, you can do any configuration here. Um, you can do the full configuration, which is the biggest amount of uh, megabytes. Typical is around 650, and this one's like 610, 611. And uh, we're going to go with the full configuration here and hit next. And then here you want to go to this unpartitioned space, hit create, and then hit OK. And click on that again, and hit next now. Leave the file system as MTFS. You can name the volume whatever you want. Drive letter C, perform a quick format, and hit next. And then type in a name hit next. Uh, you can change the computer name if need be and you do have to type in an administrative password. Apologize for the background noise, there's cars outside my house. Um, so type in a password, hit next and then you can leave this to set it automatically or you can do your IP address manually if need be. I'm just going to hit next to do it automatically. I'm going to join the work group, not a domain, hit next, and then install. It's going to format and then it's going to copy all the components and install Windows fundamentals for legacy PCs. So just let it run for a little bit. I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to ask to reboot. You want to do that. And um, you can eject the disk now. So that doesn't display that press any key to boot from CD anymore. It's going to load back into the setup. It's going to do more installing. And then I think it'll restart a couple more times. So just let it sit and do its thing. Let it restart a couple times and I'll be back with you guys when we start hitting a different setup screen. Alright, so once it reboots, it'll say apply in computer settings. And it will load up to the user login screen. 
So now you need to insert the control delete by going to input keyboard, insert control delete. And for the username, type in administrator. Oops. And for the password, type in the password that you typed in earlier. Click OK. Okay, hopefully I did not blare your uh, headsets if you're wearing them or your speakers because my sound was all the way up, so I don't know if that'll affect anything. But we're logged in. And if we right click on my computer and hit properties, it says Microsoft Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs version 2006. This is with Service Pack 2 installed. So there you go, guys. That is a video tutorial, quick video tutorial on how to install Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Thank you guys for watching. More tutorials coming in the future. Like this video if it uh, helped you out and share it so that it can help out other people as well. And um, comment below your video ideas, but I'm working on a couple of them right now. Um, working on another Windows 7 video as a beta. Uh, I'm going to work on a couple more betas and hopefully I can get some actual other stuff going on too. So, And uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.